Good evening, everybody. Let's start with the 87th Annual Brashear Basketball Tournament. It's the home team against Atlanta. Atlanta in white. It looks like an easy basket for Hunter Cuffey, but he doesn't see Colt Acton. Acton is a member of the SWAT team. Wow. How about that? Atlanta's Garrett West would finish the night with 32 points. He was on fire. Brashear's Jacob Blything took notes. Number 21 with a great drive for two more. We had ourselves a ball game, but Atlanta enjoyed the ride home. They won it 79 to 54. In girls action, top ranked Scotland County took on Brashear. Early on, Scotland County and White was cold from the outside. Kelly Hall gets the rebound and would score for Brashear as she would tie the ball game up at four. It's the Tigers, Abby Feeney, who paws it away and gets the easy two points. Brashear would double on the baseline, but Wood gets the easy basket inside. The Tigers, Abby Kirby, would get those two points back with a nice little move, but Scotland County would go on to win it. The final tonight, 69 to 31. The Otumwa girls were home to face Mount Pleasant. Otumwa in white wanted to push the pace. They did. Jada Shroggy would score. The visitors, Brianna Shellman, is pure from the outside. She made it look easy. You know what? If you don't stop Jaden Carter, she doesn't stop. Shroggy was sensational tonight. Atumwa would win it 66 to 39, but the Atumwa boys lost to Mount Pleasant 50 to 30. Tomorrow night at Kirksville, it's pink out night. The boys will take on Moberly. It's a team they lost to by three points back on December the 11th. I think we're a much better defensive team. I think we're a much more confident shooting team. Uh, so hopefully, you know, going into this week, um, we can carry that, you know, what, how we've been playing into, into these next two games. Also tomorrow night, the Navajo boys travel to Edina to take on Knox County. Navinger has gotten better this year because of unselfish play. It doesn't really matter who scores, you know, as long as we get good looks and open looks and as long as they're going down, someone could have 20 and all the rest of us would have five and we'd all be content with that. The Schuyler County girls lost to Cairo in the Laplata tournament over the weekend. The Rams continue to have too many turnovers as once again, they're having trouble holding on to the ball. Just work on us getting the ball in, in, in people's hands where we need it to be. Like I said, we, we were rushed in some situations and had a lot of turnovers. Like I said, probably we doubled the turnovers that they had, and that really is going to hurt you. The Class 2 District 6 boys district pairings have been announced. Knox County is the number one seed. They will face Northland Christian of Kansas City. Marceline is the two seed. Not sure about that. They will face Princeton. It's Scotland County and Putnam County and Schuyler County will tangle with Princeton. On the girls' side, Scotland County is number one. They will face Milan, and they will face the winner of the Marceline-Putnam County matchup. While the second seed in the district is Schuyler County, they will face Princeton, and it's Knox County against Northland Christian. The Truman State men split their road trip, beating St. Joe's and losing to U Indy. But the Bulldogs are still in a three-way tie for the GLBC West. They need to take care of business at home against Parkside and Lewis as getting a bye in the conference tournament is big. We just got to continue to get better every day, uh, con you know, continue to uh, you know, get our guys some rest, uh, keep everybody healthy, and uh, you know, hopefully we can continue playing well these last five games. 